same general structure of the body and so the cure for a broken leg, an infection, or a virus will require similar steps for each of us. But in searching for ways to overcome the conflicts of our inner world, we need to recognize that while there is a uniformity to our psyche, there is no unity. For on the one side, our psyche is sculpted by our human nature and this produces the collective side of man. But we are also individuals. No two people share the same environment, genes, life history, goals, or innate strengths and weaknesses, and this individuality produces a unique configuration to the terrain of our inner world and necessitates an idiosyncratic trial and error approach to the mastery of our psyche. Through the fissures of unconscious tension spills forth an uncharacteristically rude and possessive behavior. Bilbo projects blame onto Gandalf and exclaims, You want it for yourself! Bilbo Baggins! Do not take me for some conjurer of cheap tricks. I am not trying to rob you. trying to help you. Does it matter what these grabbers do or say or sneak or what Trump's really doing? But he said it out loud. He said that you can be against war, that you can be against these Jewish wars. They're Jewish wars, dude. They're not our wars. It's Israel's fight. It's the bankers' fight. I, they, they, they've take, and people go, oh, I can't. Aren't you scared, Big Bear? I mean, they might come for you. They already have. I am not allowed to do online commerce. Does it look like it hurts? Does it look like I'm still crushing? Like they kick you out of hell and they don't have whatever the biblical demon versus angel deal that they all have. You have to do it to yourself. They can't do it to you. You have to choose the road of the lie and watching my dad debate suicide, sputtering and muttering as he's not allowed in mine or my brother's homes because of his lies and perversion and power and nonsense. Just seeing a man I, I love that is gone. It's not brave what I'm doing. If you see the result of these people's lies, you would run to the arms of logos of truth because it, it ends so bad for them. Returned the visit by a Soviet team uh, last month to this country to discuss environmental pollution. The report of the US effort included these comments. More work is needed involving chronic exposure over extended periods of time, as well as observations for possible delays of effects following exposure. Most of the present studies involve exposures over relative short periods of time and long-term studies involving periods up to the lifespan of the animal and studies of successive generations involve considerable cost and dedicated exposure facilities. And in essence, such studies are not underway now. What is needed, though, is more work with exposure durations of at least several months. But they go on to explain that basically funding is wanting and these studies are not likely to be forthcoming. While the it seems, it seems the, 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 it feels to me when I'm hearing you that there's a kind of confusion there to me, to be honest. Because, I mean, it just it feels like the, 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 you, that there's two things. One, is which, one of which is that it is individuation so that you've got the, the things becoming particular. So you can we're see We're recording that. this on Carl Jung's birthday, by the way. Is it really? Uh, shout Happy out to Carl Jung and Carl. the individuation. Yeah. <laughs> ooh, ooh, someone's at the door. Can I please go get it, please? I beg you. As you can see, Dad, I'm ecstatic to open this door. <laughs> mm, see that I can, but open the door, I must. Too young you are. Fuck you, Dad. Like, hey, how are ya? The name's Shaggy. Mm -hmm. How can I help you, Shaggy? Like, I'm a representative of the United States military. Like, an old man. Do I have some great news for you? Mm -hmm. Hear it, I would like to. About the time we finish that conversation, here comes a guy, and he's going on. Now my client is really pissed. <laughs> and I said, I don't want to be a what? Let's go. I said, no, we're staying here. Early in the next morning, as soon as it's light, here comes a guy. He said, oh, my God, you guys are the right thing. My tent blew all apart. I almost froze to death. I had to stay up and do exercises all night long. Uh, I couldn't start the f stove. wouldn't stay lit. Uh, just got battered. I finally found a little bit of cover, but it was the most miserable light I've, I've ever had. And I'm so glad uh, I didn't get hypothermia because I came real close. Wow. And so credo, of course, means I believe. And it's, it's the word behind things like the, the, the Nicene Creed or the Apostolic Creed. Uh, a notion of credo is an, a, a notion of sort of a paradigmatic set of propositions that, uh, who, that state uh, what the, 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 the essence of a religion is uh, in terms of the truth content uh, that is supposed to be believed. And so what has happened to some degree um, in various ways, is, and I've tried to show you this, is as this, of course, is linked to propositional knowing, and as propositional knowing 
has come into ascendance, right? And as the having mode has come into ascendance. The having of propositions uh, that are asserted, right? And of course, willful assertion. We've seen as all of this has come into ascension, right? This has tended to become dominant. Uh, so as I mentioned, we often think about religions uh, or, or speak of them as if uh, they are belief systems, systems of beliefs, so, right? And so you have propositional knowing, uh, you have the having of those propositions, and the, the way you have them is ultimately to assert them in, in, in some fashion. Due to Nick's diminished online presence, his internet celebrity has faded in recent years, although he still seems to enjoy interacting with the fans and friends he's made throughout his time in the internet limelight. In September of 2016, a YouTube channel called Alex Yard and Knuckles appeared, featuring interview footage of Nick speaking about his new job, moving out of his hometown of Minot, as well as some classic Nick topics, such as his dreams. My dreams are kind of foretelling the future, such as airline flights. I would have never thought I'd do that back then. <laughs> or that I'd go swimming in very clear, very blue water, which is something I'm so wanting to do these days. 